Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today we are going to talk about a Windows script host error. So apparently Windows uses certain script files while starting up and due to this recent error it has been unable to run them and so it fails to start. So we are going to fix that. First step you need to do is click over here on your search bar and open command prompt. You can type in cmd. You need to wait for this. Right click it. Click on run as administrator. You will see a black window open up. Just like this. So in this black window you need to write down sfc space slash scannow. You need to click on uh, write, uh, type this down and click on enter. So this will scan your system for all the corrupted files anything that's probably problematic and it will fix it automatically. It will take a while so it will let it start and leave it. The next step you need to do is change a key value in the VBS file system. So VBS means visual basic script. So what it does is it allows the running of the scripts that are used in the startup of the Windows system. What you need to do is first of all go into the search bar again and type in REGEIT. You'll see an option like this, regedit and click on run command. Alternatively, you can click on Windows plus R key and open the run dialog and click on REGEDIT to open this window. So you'll see a window like this open up, uh, well not according exactly like this. You'll see something like this when you open regedit. So first of all, you'll see the first option that see that says H key classes root. You need to click on that, open it up and scroll down until you see an option that says .vbs. There you go. It says .vbs. And on the right side, when you click on it, on the right side you'll see a default option. Double click it and in the value data you'll see something. Well, in my case, it's VBS file and that is what it should be. So if there's anything else other than VBS file in your case, just remove it and click right down VBS file. So make the changes, click on OK and restart your system. So this was step number two. So as a third step, what you need to do finally is run your Windows Defender scan. So to open Windows Defender, I will probably be here over here So click on it. and you'll see an option that says quick scan just run the quick scan let it run and it will quickly scan your system for any kind of viruses or errors and fix them so this was the three step process to fixing your script host error so if you like this video if it helped leave a like and subscribe for the latest content